now let's run this thing and see how it looks so this is how our heart looks so first of all we'll need to define 3d grid that will hold the points in space where we are going to evaluate the heart function right so for that uh, let me write the first line so here the function mesh grid generates the 3d grid of points here we are utilizing line space to create equal space points between minus 1.5 to 1.5 right here defining this 100 indicates that in between minus 1.5 and 1.5 we want 100 points so ultimately this mesh grid creates a grid that contains all the combinations of these points in 3d space now we are going to define the implicit equation for heart shape this equation defines the surface in 3d space where the values of the function which is zero now here this equation is crafted to create heart shape surface in 3d the first term in this equation will set the basic shape of heart whereas the cubic term will help in creating the top portion of the heart and creates the tapering effect now in the next step we are going to plot the graph now here we are going to use iso surface this will extract the surface where the values of f is zeros now this term patch is used to render the surface as solid 3d object now it's time to make the heart look more appealing and for that we are going to color it so for that purpose we are going to use face color to set the color of the heart surface and we'll set age color to none so it will remove the grid lines from the heart and then finally we are going to provide labels x y and z and then title now let's run this thing and see how it looks so this is how our heart looks now let us add some camera effects to make it visually more appealing and now let's run this section and there we go so this is the effect of camera light so that's how you can create 3d shapes into matlab see you into the next video